welcome to another vlog. Woo! This week I'm like already stressed out. I leave for Alabama on Friday and then after that I'm going back to Tennessee for my sister's wedding. I'm thinking of everything I need to do for Matt and Patricia's wedding and then I'm thinking of everything I need to pack not only for that first wedding but then also for my sister's wedding. You know I'm just gonna be home for three weeks so there's like a lot of things like you know what I mean. You get it. You get it. I'm leaving town for a while and I'm anxious. Anyways welcome to the vlog. I am stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. My sister's getting married. I'm stressed. It's a good kind of stress because they're all for positive reasons. Everyone's getting married. Everyone's in love. First off, we're getting dip and pita from the farmer's market because that's, that's what I want. So that's where we're starting. Sarah, your head is like so tiny in the back. Am I in it? Yeah. I can't get my fingers right. There we go. Water. Oh, sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't know. Okay. Come on, woman. Okay. Okay, from the farmer's market, kitchen sink dip. This shit is so good. I was thinking about it for two weeks because I didn't go to the farmer's market last weekend. And also, the pita chips. This is from the booth that's like Brothers. If you go to the farmer's market in LA, Brothers, I think they go to multiple farmer's markets across the city. These pita chips have some sort of like lemon zest salt and like once i'm done with the chips i like lick the salt out of the container that's how good the zest is hey where's your sister i hope we see someone cool at the target like who i don't know somebody <laughs> The last time I got sheets, I also was vlogging. Back then I should have gotten the top sheet and the fitted, but I just got the fitted and now I just need the top. I think I'm just gonna do white. I'm just gonna crisp. Sorry. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. This is what I need. Got it. I'm not gonna be here for all of October, so I haven't really purchased any kind of fun fall decor because I'm not even gonna be able to enjoy it. Maybe you could get like a fall a small candle. I mean, I'm not that pressed. I just think when I go home, I'm gonna make my mom indulge in Target with me. Oh, this smells nice. I like this hickory. Oh, this dry leaves and hickory. It's also a wood wick, which I love because it makes the noise. Yeah. This is why I needed a new top sheet. Hold on. <laughs> Started as a very small rip and then gradually this just would rip. Oh, just ripped more. Oh. Oh, perfect. Love that. Obsessed. It just started ripping throughout the night as I would sleep. And so this is like completely, completely ripped in two parts. I am sad that my sheets no longer have my monogram on them, but I have had these since, I want to say I got these, I got these in college. Actually, these are probably pretty old. I don't feel like they look that dingy though. Like I think that they stayed pretty white. So I'm not, I don't think that's gross. wondering like, hey, Salidar, why are you um, holding a wadded up wet sheet that you just washed? And that's because our dryer is broken. Like it works, but it doesn't add heat to the turning of it all. So nothing gets dry. And for that reason, I have been hanging everything to dry, which has not been great. It hasn't been awful. I mean, it's really annoying for like towels and sheets, but for clothing, it's like, okay, because like I can just do it overnight. Landlord has not fixed it yet. Once again, can't wait to never have a landlord again. Sorry if this is like really freaking you out, but this is what I have to do. It looks like I'm building a fort. I'm not, I'm just trying to dry my bedding. Fuck. We're just gonna kind of hope that that dries before bedtime. But if not, just have another night where, where we don't have a flat sheet. This is this kind of my life right now? I've been too embarrassed to show. It's a good thing I have no guests coming over, just kind of showing the entire internet instead. Oh, Salidor, get a drying rack. No, I have a lot of doors. Mosquito. Did not get it. Good morning. Who wants to see me try on a formal gown that I'm not gonna wear? It's really pretty. I just like my other option more. If I had another wedding coming up, I would keep it, but I don't. So I'm gonna return it. Okay, I'm getting confused by the ties. <laughs> this dress gets really, it's like supposed to like crisscross in the back. Imagine this crossing all the way down. I don't know if you can, can you see the bottom? 
Oh, this is really pretty though. Now I'm kind of regretting my decision to go with the other one. It's okay. It's fine. national holiday what do i do now what do i do i don't know what to do there's just like i'm i'm feeling overwhelmed by like you know when you just like have so many things on your to-do list that you just like don't even know what to do next i don't know what to do next like i have so much going up in my head of like all of the little tasks and returns and appointments i need to do before i leave this is probably coming off as incredibly pathetic Hey, it's me from the future. I leave for the airport in the morning and I'm here to say that it is pathetic due to the fact that I actually didn't have that much to do. What I was trying to say is that my entire week was derailed by the fact that I did not have a pair of shoes. I did not have a pair of shoes yet for the wedding. I literally just was stressed about not having a pair of shoes. So the search for a pair of gold heels for this weekend and also for my sister's wedding because I was just like also stressed about that. The search for one and or two pairs of heels for weddings completely wrecked my mental state this week, which is a little pathetic, but I do think it could just be girlhood and that's not pathetic. It's just the plight of being a girl. It's not the first time that's happened to me and it won't be the last. So, um... I'll see you guys at the end of the video. I love being a girl. <laughs> Why is this? I, it's so, you know how nice it would be if I could just rent a tux and go to a wedding? Easy, Thought, like literally like so fine. Here I am like looking at six different pairs of heels. Hey mom. What about the other shoes I sent you? Did you like them? I mean, those are fine. I'm not like obsessed with the ankle strap. I can just keep looking. I mean, are you gonna wear the ones you already have to Patricia's wedding? I know, that's the thing. It's like, I'd rather just have one pair and just wear them to both. But I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. If I like have two pairs, it just feels silly. Well, I know, but sometimes things just have to be work with what's going on. By the time this video is going up, I have already attended the wedding, so I know everything works out in the end and everything is fine. It's just a pair of heels. This is my dress. It's from... Louise, New York. Wait, is that upside down? The dress is taffeta. It took me forever to find a dress that I wanted. I really wanted a taffeta dress and I wanted something that felt very me. And I feel like this dress is very me. It's like you think you're done once you find the dress, but you're not. There's always more to do. The shoes I'm wearing with this dress are fine. Part of me thinks I'm doing a little too much. You don't need bows on your feet. Fucking calm down, dude. So I do have a shoe to wear. I'm just not obsessed with the option. But as my mother said on the phone, you don't have to be obsessed with every single piece of clothing that you wear. Sometimes you can just think something's okay. So I like them, but I don't love them. But there's something about them I'm just like not that into and I can't really put my finger on it. I will say the height of these heels is perfect. The hem is like perfectly grazing the ground. I wish I could talk to my future self and find out what shoes I wear. Absolutely stunning morning to go get my cooter waxed. Couldn't have asked for better weather for this occasion. I've never been waxed with a dog in the room. So that was kind of a new experience for me personally at this time.
these had very bad reviews so I don't even know why I ended up buying them. I'm just like, I'm getting desperate at this point. Something about the ankle strap, I think the reviews were bad about. Be for myself. Let's see if they even fit, okay? And then we can decide if they're bad. Okay, they're seeming like they're fitting. I think these are a little bit taller than what I would want. You don't even see the shoes under the dress. There's no point in having super tall heels cause like no one can even fucking see them. Okay, well they fit. I'm not even gonna try these on with my dress because I, I just think that they're too tall. I'm not really interested. They look great on this carpet though. Okay, <laughs> another pair of heels is here. feeling weak oh stunning gorgeous these pajama pants are like literally the weirdest fucking length possible like why am i wearing capri pajama pants my gamage hair looks stupid as fuck right now i normally cover that up with this sweatshirt because i get embarrassed i get embarrassed by that is that bad that space between the dress and the floor I feel like it could be half an inch longer. I do want one of my friends to kind of reassure me that like this hem length is fine. These shoes, is that gap bad? Fuck y'all, I don't know. No, if I'm like walking, I'm gonna be holding this up anyways, you know? I need a second opinion. I think that's fine. Help. Good morning, I leave for Alabama tomorrow. I am walking to USPS with all of my packages. I feel like I look insane but i wanted to get some fresh air i might go pick up lunch somewhere as well this is my workout today it was announced that the Eras tour film was pushed up a day so i bought tickets this morning to go see the movie tonight which is wonderful news because i was gonna have to wait to see it in chattanooga but now i can see it and i'm gonna get the novelty popcorn and the cup and everything I just got to the mall. The movie starts in like 20 minutes. I'm really hoping that there are cups and popcorn buckets left. I mean, I'm assuming that there are because she moved it up a day, unless they're like rationing a certain amount for every single showing. Even if I miss the start, like I'm just gonna wait in line for the popcorn bucket and for the cup because I want it that badly. Didn't even mention the fact that I'm in my Speak Now cardigan. This is the first time I've ever worn it in public. <gasps> I just got a little mini poster. I didn't know I was gonna get this. This is such a pleasant surprise. Okay, there was literally no line for like popcorn and um, drinks, so like, was sweating over nothing. Yeah, like before the concert every time. That is so sick that they do that. It's tin. I didn't know it was tin, and I just think it's so pretty on the inside. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but I'm loving it. This, plastic, unfortunately. So like a little bit not as cool. Still cool. It has like the eras on the inside. Mini poster. All three of these things. The movie was wonderful. Yes, I've already seen it before. Not the movie, but the concert. So like nothing was like super shocking or insane, but it was so fun to see like everything more up close. I also made a friend. Okay, well I made two friends. I met a boy named Jeremy when I was walking in. That was really nice. And then a girl came in and sat next to me and she was alone. So we started talking because we were like, oh, like neither of us came with friends. Her name was Allison and she was so sweet and we exchanged Instagram. And so when I'm back in town, I think she has AMC A-list. So I was like, oh, we can go see a movie together, like get coffee or whatever. So that was so fun, you know, making a new friend. If I like sing or like do any of like the chants or responses, whatever, is that gonna be weird? But it was like fine because like she was next to me. So I was like feeling good that we talked before the movie because then I was like more comfortable doing those things, whatever. She was really nice. So I had a great time. You are going to be just as shocked as I am that I have one more thing to try on for this weekend because this package was delivered while it was at the movies. I was watching the tracking of this package for about two weeks. I ordered this so far in advance, took forever to get here to the point where I messaged the company and I was like, is this gonna start shipping? But it's here now, literally at the 11th hour. I have a feeling that it might just be ugly. There's an event Friday night, so tomorrow night. And I already have dresses to wear to it so I can like figure something out. But I was like, let me see if there's something new. I got it on took forever. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a top and a skirt. The model on the website was wearing it and it made it look like a dress. So I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. The reason I like it, this is very much my style, but I also think I need to stop dressing like I'm living in the Victorian age. You know what I mean? This is the length of it. Maybe I could wear this to one of my sister's events. 
but also it might not be the vibe for that either. I just feel like I'm looking like a Victorian harlot. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know if that's kind of the vibe. I'm gonna bring this and see what everyone else is wearing, but I am feeling like a Victorian harlot. I don't know. I'm gonna leave the tag on until I kind of decide what I'm doing. It is 10 p.m. and I haven't packed a goddamn thing and I have to wake up in five hours. Oh my God. I'm leaving for the airport in five hours. It's me again. We made it back to um, now. We made it back to now. Carry on with all of the important things I need for this weekend in the event that this one gets lost because God fucking forbid that happens. Everything else for Tennessee in here. I do think that I have overpacked. I, I just like, I honestly, I literally was trying to Google what temperature is cold. I'm like, do I need sweaters for Tennessee? Like I literally could not figure it out. So I do think I overpacked for Tennessee. So be it. Oh, I know you're dying to know what heels I picked, I, though I do think it's pretty obvious. I ended up picking these. Yay! They're gonna get the job done this weekend, and if I wear them for my sisters, I'm just gonna get my dress, like, hemmed a little bit. Which I hope my mom is fine that I need to go get my dress hemmed two weeks before my sister's wedding. That shouldn't be an issue. She should understand. Even though they should go on the bottom of my suitcase, for dramatic effect of this video, they are gonna go right there. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I had a lot of fun making this video. Turned kind of a stressful week into a fun little, a fun little thing for me. I was stressed out all week, and I was like, wait we're vlogging wrong let's let's reframe this and then it actually turned enjoyable as i said i do have to be up for the airport in three hours and maybe i'll try to nap i don't even think i can classify it as going to bed i will try to nap before 3 a.m and also probably not as always you can follow me on instagram tiktok twitter which is now x snapchat and letterbox those are all the places you can find me and you can also subscribe which would be really fucking sweet of you and as i said i have three hours until i need to leave for the airport so with that I think, I think this is goodbye. Ow, that was an arm workout. <laughs>